Hi there guys, today I'll be taking a look at this pneumatic Hetty um, HET200A from 2010. Um, I got this in for repair, um, the guy has dropped it downstairs and it stopped working. The only thing that comes on now is the auto save light, let me just show you that. He did say he took it apart, there we go, I think actually happens. Um, he did say he took it apart, he put a new switch in it but still nothing happened so he so gave up and wants me to have a look at it so we don't need a tub and oh what's that some brown stuff in there hopefully no 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 that's the road look the motor ain't rusted so that's all good uh, I thought that was rust in there um so let's just unscrew all these and I'll show you how to remove the PCB, if it is the PCB. And just check we're recording and we are. Right, so. Just do these seven screws. So we're on the last screw now, and that's all that undone. Turn it over there. We'll just remove that. There's a hair in the fan. Yeah. That'll be fine. Um, hmm. Some stuff in the fan case. Uh, Calm dust as usual. Just need to wipe it out. The motor's fine. See the commutator? It's fine. So it smells like something has actually died in here. And doggies running about. Right, so I just quickly need to play that off. And the plate is missing on the back. We don't really need that, do we? So um, to remove this, we'll just take these um, spade connectors off. Like so, there's our motor. Down there. We don't need the top casing either. That. Um, so to remove it, we'll release these two wires in here and just move that one. It's just going to shut my door quickly. It's a bit of interference. There you go. Um, check if we're still recording, just in case my thing's lagged out. Yeah, we're still recording. Um, now we just need to get flat blade screwdriver, like this one, prise this switch up. Um, we'll leave all the wires attached to the switch, uh, just to test it, and prise this one up. This all should just pull out in one big um, thing of spaghetti, like that. So there's our wire made, and that little ferret bead comes off, which we don't really need, to be, off, to be honest. Right, so the wires we need are this white one. Um, take it off this brown one. Let's join to it. We can bend it up a bit. We don't really matter about that. Um, that can be joined back onto there. And my dad's just got home. We don't need that. And we don't need these two blue and brown wires on there. We just need that white one. Um, so that bit, you see all that PCB and that removed. Um, this, however, we do need these because they supply the energy from the rewind assembly. Um, dropping everything. Um, 
so we'll just put these back in here. Um, so. Oh, if it is the rewind and they don't want uh, rewind, if it is the PCB and they don't want it replaced, I'll just put the switch back in place where it was. Otherwise, oh, there'll be a big gaping hole there. Um, right, so under here. Now, this is where some of you may get stuck. I've got two brown and blue wires. The brown one goes right at the back, and the blue one goes at the front. I'll put the blue one in first because that's where that one goes and that's where that one goes at the back so it looks like that there we go uh, we just need our motor now we just need this that all goes on there like that we can just attach our wires with this thing here um, so it's quite an easy job to do if you know what you're doing. Um, you just need to have a bit of common sense if you know what you mean. If you know what I mean. Of course, this will be all vacked out. I won't fully refill it because it's all I'm be losing money. Um, there we go. That goes in there. There we go. Uh, now we just need to. So we've got like this little bit under here. Hang on, was it? Yeah, there was a seal. Just need that on there. Just release this thing from under there, which is the cage that goes around this little filter diffuser thingy, which just slots around the edge of the motor. Uh, put that over there because I'm losing none of the screws. Um, we'll just put this back in here. To there, and we just need to put that on there, slide it on. Pretty simple, like that. We'll just run these screws in a little bit just so it doesn't fall to bits, and it will probably fire up now unless there's a fault within the motor. Um, more than likely, it will fire up. Um, turn that off. So I'm quite skilled, just take the rewind out. Like straight on there, like that. Power little thing in. Like so. And just need to screw these in. Just so it holds everything in place. Set like that. So. There we go. Of course, you'd do this up tightly. Um, was doing this for yourself. But this is just to test it. So if it doesn't, if you have one of these, it just doesn't turn on at all, or that light comes on. Of course, you put the other switch a blank in there. Um, well, it's not sitting right, but I don't really care. Of course, it would have to be sitting right. So let's turn it on. <laughs> And there's that fixed. Um, that's how to remove your PCB. Um, if you found this helpful, please put a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you for watching. And please like, subscribe, and bye for now.